Hey guys, welcome to the 179th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're basically going to begin our fifth project, even though it's going to be basically a small project. All we're really going to be doing is making a program that will generate CAPTCHAs. And if you don't know what a CAPTCHA is, it's that annoying little thing every time you have to download something or make an account, or you there's like an image and there's like scrambled text inside of it, and you basically have to type out what that text is. And in case you didn't know, those are just to prevent bots from downloading multiple um, files or creating multiple accounts or something like that. So like I said, we're just going to be making a program that will generate those images. And the first thing that we're just going to want to do here is create a button so that the user can select on the output of all these images. So they're just going to be able to select a folder where all these captures will be saved to. So we're just going to say right here, choose folder. And right next to this button, we're just going to have a label showing the folder path that they actually chose. And we're just going to make it three dots for right now, but we'll change that later on. All right, and then we're just going to want to have uh, a button that will say uh, begin. And this will just basically start the generation. So we're just going to say right here, start. And right next to that, we're going to have a label. And then we're going to have a text box following that so that the user can choose how many captures they actually want. And I'm just going to make this label's text amount since it's going to be a text box following it. Or you can type in how many uh, captures that you want to actually generate. Let's make that about that big. All right. And then right down here, we're just going to have a panel. And um, this is so that the user can see all the captures being generated. So we're just going to have a panel right there. And every time that we create a new captcha, it'll be displayed in there. All right, let me just resize this accordingly. All right, there we go. And a couple more things we have to do is rename the form. And I'm just going to make it say CAPTCHA GENERATOR. GENERATOR. And then I'm just going to make it so that the user cannot resize the form. So I'm going to make the form border style uh, fixed single. And then I'm going to make it so that the user cannot maximize the form. So we're going to go down here to maximize box and set that property to false. Alright, so like I said, we're just going to be generating CAPTCHAs. And since we have the amount that the user can create, we're basically just going to um, create a method where the user will pass uh, as a parameter the amount of CAPTCHAs that they want to uh, generate. And then it will just return an image array of actually all of those CAPTCHAs. So we're just going to say right here, we're going to make the return type an image array. And then we're just going to call this method generate captures. And as a parameter, um, you're going to be able to pass through the amount that you want to generate. So int amount. All right. And I'm just going to make it return null right here so we don't get an error saying we haven't returned anything. OK, so the first thing that we have to do is create new graphics to actually draw on. So we're going to say graphics g equals panel one dot create graphics and then we're going to want to create a brush to actually draw the shapes and the text with so we're going to say brush or actually no solid brush b equals a new solid brush and then for the color we want this color to be random so we're going to want to create a new random up here so we're going to say uh, random ran equals a new instance of the random class all right, and like I said, we're just going to want to generate a random color. So we're going to say color dot from ARGB, which is just like numbers. And since alpha is always going to be um, 255 or FF in hexadecimal, I'm just going to put 0x uh, FF for 255. And then for the rest of the colors, we can actually uh, uh, generate them randomly. So we're going to say ran dot next to, to get a random number. And for the minimum, we're going to make it 0. And then for the maximum, we're going to make it 255. Since the maximum uh, amount for uh, red, green, or blue is 255, we're just going to want to do that for all three of them. So we're just going to copy this. So the random color uh, will be different, though, for red, green, and blue. So I'm just going to paste this ran.next. All right, so now we just basically created um, a solid brush with a random color. And we just need to add another parenthesis here. 
All right, and now we're just going to want to create a pen tool because we're not going to be drawing solid shapes over our text because then we wouldn't actually be able to read the text. So we're just going to be drawing um, shapes like the outline of the shape. And we're going to say pen p equals a new pen. And then for the color of that, we just want it to be um, a random color as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this uh, random color that we have right here. And even though I copied that code, it'll generate a different random color. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're actually going to get into drawing the text and drawing the shapes and stuff like that. Alright, so see you guys.